Oh Murky, how have I missed you? So welcome back to Heroes of the Storm, you can do better. I am Patinator, and today we're going to be playing this melee specialist. He's very good at pushing lanes, has an okay team fight if he's there, and is all around just really fun to play. We're going to build around this pufferfish because there's a lot of damage to be had there. And if you already know how to build around that pufferfish, you can skip on straight to the gameplay using the timestamp in the description below or the annotation in the lower left. For those of you sticking around, here are the matchups. They're gonna be on the right. We're gonna be on Dragonshire. No supports on Ivory Team, which is why I went for Octograph. Not that I, you know, normally I would wait to see if the other team picked up Cleanse or something similar to that, but since they didn't have a support, I just picked Octograph. Although there is a place for March of the Murlocs. Anyway, let's take a look at his abilities. Slime. Release slime to damage the slow enemies. The slow is almost negligible, but it's still there. It lasts for 8 seconds, and you can deal more damage to people who are already slimed. Pufferfish. Spit out a pufferfish at the, at the target point. After two, 3 seconds, the fish will blow up for a large amount of damage. Enemies can attack the fish when prevented from exploding. I believe that is 3 hits for it to get disarmed. Most people do not have the attack speed. To actually disarm it in time. You can't damage it with abilities either. So this is your main pushing ability. This will clear waves very efficiently. This will... Towers don't target it. So you can safely toss it onto a tower. And just call it a day. Start dealing siege damage that way. Safety bubble. His his escape. Or her escape. Becomes invulnerable for 2 seconds. While active you cannot use abilities or attack. Pretty self-explanatory. His trait is spawn egg. Place an egg at target location, revealing the nearby area. Upon dying, you respawn at the egg after 5 seconds. If your egg is killed, you have revealed to enemies for 15 seconds. You only grant 25% of a hero's experience upon dying. This is what makes Murky Murky. You can't die and it's not worth it for them to have spent those, you know, those resources on you and that time on you. And this is especially valuable at levels 1 to 10 because of the way the death timers have been sorted out. That 5 seconds is a big deal when everybody needs 10 seconds to come back into the fight. Now, part of good murky play is great egg positioning. If you dominate your lane, you can push it ahead most of the time. I'm not saying that this is something you should do all the time, but most of the time. People will not check behind your wave for an egg. It's simply not heard of. They will clear the wave first and then move on. If you can keep the lane consistently pushed in, you can place your egg further ahead. Since we were on Dragonshire, there were few options to do that because the shrines were at always at the midpoint and thus will always be contented, uh, contested. Consider that the, the line of engagement is where the shrines will be. Behind that line is where you're safe. If you can keep pushing the line of engagement or if the shrines aren't up, you can put egg in more aggressive positions. I will leave it to you to decide when is the right time to put your egg forward. But basically, if they can't see it, put an egg down. And if they see your egg, put your egg down wherever you are so that they can't kill it. It'll make them feel bad. It'll also keep it from going on cooldown. Anyway, two heroics. March of the Murlocs, Command a Legion of Murlocs, March, they jump on people, they slow them down, they deal have damage to the structures. This is the hero there is a place for this heroic. And it's when you can't use Octograb. Because the CC is so strong, 3 seconds, even if they do kill you by the way, the CC stays, so... It's kind of worth it if they focus you down. If the enemy team has cleanse, and if you see them waiting for you to pick Octograb at level 10, and they haven't picked their level 7 talent, like on like Ufer, they're waiting for you to pick Octograb, and they're gonna look to cleanse your Octograb. That's... I mean, your cool cooldown is still shorter, but... 50 seconds. But... It's still worth considering March of the Murlocs to make their cleanse useless if no one else on your team has hard CC that can be cleansed. I leave it up to your best judgment. Best judgment, basically. This is not always the best call, although it is very strong. And if you can afford to wait for them to use their cleanse on somebody else, as if, if there's a lot of CC, hard CC on your team, maybe it's still worth taking off the grab. I took it because there were no supports in the game. Quick match, get a quick match, and it just felt so good to grab, you know, to hit that off the grab. Level 10. Not level 10. Talents, I mean. Okay, I love his level 1 talents because they're all very utilitarian. Depending on what you're facing, you're gonna pick a different talent for it. The only core talents for Pufferfish, I believe, are at 7, 13, and 16, which, yes, kind of makes this an endgame build. Block if you're facing a very strong auto attacker in your lane. And even then, you might not pick block, but this. This keeps your life, this keeps you safe, and this, this lets you push your lane in faster. 
Bubble Breeze. Well, if you want a body block, and it is an option. I've, I've faced a Murky that has consistently block, body blocked me when I was playing Malfurion. That's on V Towers of Doom PTR preview. Uh, it's pretty good. You can it, it makes it a stronger escape. It lets you body block people while successfully getting to the place where you're supposed to body block. Assault Egg. This is the only one. This is the bottom tier of the picks for me. If for some reason, Block, Bubble Breeze, and Bribe aren't applicable, Assault Egg is the way to go. Makes your egg stronger, sight range is bigger. Basically makes it a ward. Gives you more time to react. But Bribe is so good and depending on the map. This is what I picked on Dragonshire because I wanted to keep stealing their siege camp. So we can keep pressuring the bot lane where I was hanging out. We'll be in a good spot. I'll be able to place my egg in better positions. Which will allow me to just go YOLO, just dive in the team. If I die, at least I respawn you know, near near enough to make me still relevant to the team fight. Level 4. Mm. This is a tough call. Bigger Slime is okay and Venom is very aggressive but for me it's a choice between tougher fish and living the dream tougher fish if they have some of the fast enough attack speed who is paying attention to your to your puffer fish this might be worth it it's better than not getting value out of your puffer fish at all yes you are giving up living the dream increased ability power it's like a gathering power for him that is active and grows for as long as he is alive and it will let you kill people using the puffer fish and octa grab combo but there is a place for tougher fish. If they're focusing you down or you're facing, if you're facing two people who are focusing down your puffer fish and keeping you from really getting your push on, which is your primary objective and your purpose in life as a murky, well, tougher fish might be the way to go. Level 7! Mmm, compressed air. Large damage. Area of effect of puffer fish is increased by 50%. This lets you hit two towers and the walls, and two towers and the, the gate raver. Makes it very easy to hit. It's an amazing zoning tool if in the middle of a team fight because most people, not saying all people, but most people have trouble targeting the puffer fish. Most because there are other things on top of it. Maybe an enemy hero, maybe an enemy wave, or maybe they don't even know it's it. They just see the giant circle and they realize they have to leave. It's a great way to zone out the enemy. Clairvoyance is also an option, but I wanted to push, so I went with compressed air. This is also okay. Slime lasts for eight seconds and you can just keep sliming them. And you can keep whacking away with them. It's a good way to push somebody out of lane if you so desire. But I went with Pufferfish. That's what we're building around. Level 10, we've discussed the Hedorics. Level 13. Wrath of God. Increase Pufferfish damage on slime targets. Now, this doesn't reach full value till level 16. But you can basically use your Q and then drop the Pufferfish. Clear a wave. Move on with your day. Level 16. Slimy Pufferfish. This is core to the build. And I'm not saying that the other talents aren't good. I'm saying this is core to the build that we are going to use. Slimy Pufferfish. Cast Slime at Pufferfish, pufferfish location. That's a surprisingly hard word to say. You drop the Pufferfish. It drops the Slime, which increases the damage of your other Slime, which then further increases the damage of your Pufferfish because it's hitting something that is Slime. It's a lot of synergy for a little murky. Level 20. I have been invited to a party. Um, not right now. That was weird. Who, who, who is that? Anyway, level 20, Octo Shark. No, Octo Grab. That really threw me off my game. Give me a second here. And a Shark 2 increases the damage of Octo Grab by 13,700%. Well, that looks good. And it is good. It's good in quick match. I like Rewind. Two puffer fishes, two safety bubbles, emergency safety bubble. Oh, that's all good. Sliming people uh, several more times, more damage. It's just so good on Murky that it's hard to recommend even both of the storm because safety is not really your concern. You're a Murky. You die. You Murk again. Never ending March. If I did pick March of the Murlocs, and I'm not saying I wouldn't, but I wouldn't pick never ending Murlocs. It's and a shark too or rewind, but rewind far and away. Takes the lead. By the way, don't feel too pressured to land the Pufferfish Octagrab combo. Sometimes it is enough to land the Octagrab and let your team finish him off. It's a 3 second stun. That's disgusting. And if someone is out of position, just Octagrab him. Someone's gonna come by and kill them. Anyway, I, I, I enjoyed this game. I don't think it's the best murky game I've ever played, which is bad considering I'm not even, you know, the best murky ever. But I enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy watching it. Well, just looking at the matchups, this looks like their fight to lose. Their, their game to lose, rather. 
I will place my egg. I will barf. Never noticed his belly descending like that before. It's kind of gross. What are we looking to do? Hmm. There are two things I like to do as a murky. One, if I feel like doing it, I will do it. Because the potential far outweighs the cost of us dying too. I want to participate in the team fights. If we can get the team fights out. Hey, Illidan. Okay. Bad Kelfoss. You can actually kill Kelfoss if you're, you're careful about it. Uh, not gonna explode. Gonna keep running? Gonna keep running? Yeah, we're gonna keep running. We're gonna tap for well. Let's see, because the only time I'm gonna split push, especially in a... Whatchamacallit, a QM situation, is when... Bubble out. <laughs> Whoops. Nope. Jukes for you um, is when we have an advantage. Then I can safely push. Especially if their damage is dead. Especially if Kael'thas is dead for you know one reason or another, which is very likely. Bubble out. Let's get out. Let's heal up. We do have high... Uh, the health regenerates 27 per second. That's not a typo. That's not even a bug. That's just how he be. This is an Illidan. This is an Illidan. Okay, let's drop the egg over there. I want this. Hey, what's up? Well, they got Dragonite, but we're gonna get an Illidan. Or not. We're gonna get nothing. And then we're gonna die. We're not living the dream. The dream is dead. The dream is dead. But the murky lives again. Fortunately, we oh no. Our Dragonite is playing smart, not going in too deep. We still have no stacks. We only have eight stacks, but we've been in lane. It's not a last hit thing, is it? It's a near my hero thing. We got, I guess we got pushed out a little bit. We're gonna get kicked. I will keep the lane dead so that the towers can focus on the Dragon Knight. That is a very weak Sylvanas. I will try to get her, but we didn't. As long as we can negate the advantage they have off Dragon Knight, we should be fine. Okay, let's egg out. Actually, I'm gonna spit my egg out here. Probably not a good spot for it either. Let's see. Living the dream! The dream is alive! Zeratul is dead. Okay, that's not great. Yep. Hey. Okay, we've got a stack. Whoops, none for you. Well, we tried to juke him, but it didn't work out. What's important is we didn't blow up our friends. Top is okay. Falstad is mining bot. I actually want to go help him out. And I want to get more stacks off this. Okay. Yeah, let's start pushing. Boink. Towers don't attack those, by the way. So feel free to just place them wherever you dang well, please. I don't think we're going to get flanked, so I'm going to put this here. It's slightly more aggressive. There's very little gain to it. But I feel like being adventurous today. Okay, he used two of his abilities, so I'm going to go in. Hey, hey, this hurts. This hurts you. Okay, we got the push. Now we're going to turn around. I want more. Okay, we're almost there. One more wave ought to do it. Hmm. Okay, that wave is pushed in. Nothing to gain there. Bot wave is going to take its time to get there. Nazebo is moving to our location, so I'm going to pop over here. Start pressuring this lane more. Keep him away from the globes. Or at least make it very difficult for him to get to the globes. We have this. Hmm. We have eyes on everybody, so I feel confident about doing this. Hmm. Mine. Okay, we got the kale fast. That's good. Compressed air should let us pressure this lane more efficiently. Is our egg still there? Our egg is still there. I've been playing Murky all day, and every now and then I just forget to pay attention to the egg. We're gonna leave. I mean, death is cheap for us, but let's not die anyway. Oh, good eyes in that EDC not going after us. Unfortunate. Okay, the line of engagement is still there, so I'm still fairly comfortable about where I put this. Rainer is getting chunked down. Unfortunately, his E is gonna get used up just for a siege camp, which I guess is inefficient since I exist. Let's do this. They have to mind our camps now. Our egg is visible. Our egg is in a very, very bad place. Uh, I have some problems with this. Hey, what's going on? Whoop, whoop, uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, now we're in a bad spot. Oh, please don't see my egg. Please don't see my egg. Uh, okay, we're back. We're back. Five seconds, five seconds. We're back. The egg has returned. We're dropping this on them. Top is ours, so I don't feel too bad about this. And now we can just keep charging. Hey, Kale, I can kill you. Okay, now you can kill me. I'm alone. Uh, that's... We are a distraction. We are gonna bubble out. I can drop this there. Make them think twice about doing anything. Ah, uh, we're gonna pop. I should need to put the egg here. They have seen it. I can guarantee you they've seen it. 
because they were over there. Zerto is minding that. I, it's too far for us to make a difference over there, so I'm going to drop this over here. And chase her out with our pufferfish and claim this to make sure that we don't get Dragonite again. Oh, 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 no, no, not for you. Not today. No? Alright, get stick around. Explosions for you. Oh, we died. That's a shame. Okay, this, this is getting ridiculous. We're getting pushed in. I hope that doesn't jump to our egg because that would be tragic. Unfortunately, those are two abilities that can lead them through our egg if we're not careful. I just want to make you rock. Oh, you finally hit us with it. Well, that was inefficient for you. Not going to get me with that, no sir. Uh, Octograb, Octograb. They don't have a... Um, they don't have a support. So there's no cleanse. Nothing to worry about there. Fortunately, we're going to have to play defensive with this. Okay, that kill is looking at a low. If we can get... We're going to die. That that was pretty much a given, thanks to Envenom. Kill my egg! No, you won't! You won't kill me today. Come close, though. Hmm. Bot is highly pressured, highly contested. Gonna have to move up here. No. Play defensive. Our egg is dead. Drop the egg here in a very vulnerable position. Maybe it'll bait someone into doing something really stupid. But that's a bad fury. Falstad is trying to take and has successfully taken the shrine. We've got a bribe stack. It didn't pick the hunt, or at least that's what it looked like from the minimap. Six, five, four, three. Yes, I am just counting down my abilities. Whoops! Nope. Hmm. Get out, Kael'thas. Ooh, That Sylvanas ain't making that mistake again. I will block. Okay, I will try to take it now. They are three down. Two down, rather, but three of them are dead. The Murky has arrived! The Murky wants you dead. I know it's more efficient to start waiting for the, the wave, but I want to get this done. Yes, yes, you can do great things to me. I have to roll over to bot and start taking out the first level towers. It's only in a 7 minute 30 second Dragon Knight, so it's not going to be that strong. But it is there. Just stay on this side. Now I want the wave. Hey, kill fast. Okay, time to go. Hmm. Hey, you want to get into our... Oh, okay. 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 I know this isn't ideal. But Niver is just pushing by ourselves. Okay, time to go. We're distracting them from our Rainer, so that's good. Hmm. Wrath of God. Okay. Double up. We got the Rainer, that's good. Let's see if we can get this. Ah, I died. Where's our egg? Alright, oh, it's over there. I could have gotten more, but it was inefficient since the wave wasn't there. We would have just gotten the Dragonite killed for nothing. Ah, uh, we didn't get the door. That's embarrassing. Over here, Ben. Like, that ought to do it. Okay, we're good. Hmm, 35? I will take this first. I want this. We have the advantage, so I am okay with kind of splitting on this. And then I will take for Siege Camp. Yes, thank you. Yes, I know there's a team fight. I know. But they're behind. And I'm gonna take everything from them. Okay, we can probably also take our other siege camp. We are ahead levels, and we've got dominance of the map. Slime, slime. We can, I think we, we can kill this, right? That just stands to reason. We just would be silly if we couldn't kill this. I guess we could just gotta kite properly. Yeah, that's all we need to do. Uh, uh. I hope nobody looks at us funny, because we will die if they do. Oh, we lived, we lived, we barely lived. Poorly played, maybe, but what's important is we have the siege camp. Hmm. They're catching up to us in terms of levels. Not great. Hey, it's a rainer. It's a lonely rainer. You're staying here. I could have used BW on him, but I just wanted to secure the kill because the team is there. Hey, it's an Illidan. The loneliest Illidan. He's using that correctly, at least. He's dashing, he's dodging, he's juking. We're silenced, that's fine. But he's still gonna die. 
guy. He's still gonna die. Slimy pufferfish, duh. We are complete. I'm gonna go over to top now. Gonna drop my egg on the way. Just to... They're pressuring that. We can afford to split. Let's counter the Sylvanas push. And the pufferfish should deal, you know, it should do the rest for us. Should we go aggressive on this? Maybe? Hey, it's a Sylvanas. A wild Sylvanas has appeared. I am totally not worth attacking. Yes. Well, we'll die, but we'll hurt her immensely. She'll have to leave. Who died? Why is there a, a stone bear? Has that always been there? Am I just an idiot? Entirely possible, but I don't think so. Not in this case. I want to clear the lane. We do have the advantage. A one person advantage, but that's okay. Push is working out very well at bot. Clear lane first, objectives. Because the pressure is not on. Zerto is gonna take Dragon Egg. That's fine. Yeah. And we're gonna block for Zerto. We have blocked for Zerto. If I can just grab you for a second, sir. I just not a moment of your time. He used to hunt appropriately, but we can probably get him. No, we missed. We missed. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Okay, team numbers are even, so I'm going to go with Dragon Knight. No opportunity to really make something happen yet, but we can immediately grab your siege camps if we so desire. Okay, Illidan is really low. Let's see if anybody walks into this. Not likely. Why are they hitting me? Or was that a misclick? I know that the interface has some problems with that. Stay here. Stick around here. If anyone walks out of position, we are hugging her. That's a really long kick. Uh, Pufferfish. Oh, wait. My fingers were not in the right place. I'm gonna go over here. And grab this. This is mine now. Hey, Sylvanas. How's life working out for you? Not good? Not good. I'm gonna say not good. Yeah. Illidan, I was speaking. I paused to be polite to you. Is our egg dead? No, our egg is not dead. Okay. Alright, we're good. Uh, full retreat. They're looking at us funny. I will block for the team. Is Illidan gonna stay here? Illidan did stay there, but they got to pop my thing. Which is not great. See, team fight's still here. We're sort of even. We're about to get go down a person, but oh, beautiful, beautiful zombie wall. Got that, you know. Got that kill fast. Probably gonna get this Rainer too. Hey, surprise Rainer! I do damage. What an odd call for me. Do we have interrupts? Do we have any interrupts whatsoever? No. What a weird call for him to do that. I mean, to pick stage dive. I guess he wanted the presence. But as a whole, it's not very efficient. Ah, uh, not even gonna. You guys can do that. Yeah, see? You guys can do that. You're fine. Oh, a big wave. That's gonna get us a lot of stacks. I'm gonna go over there, move our egg up to a more palatable position. Which is here. Is it smart? It's aggressive. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Not a bad idea. Rewind! Since we got the octograbs, rewinds, octograbs, combos, all that good stuff. I, I admit, I think the coffee's starting to wear off, which is why I just kind of stuttered out of that. Slimes. You're fine! You can go, man. I'm good. I'm good. Pufferfish didn't even get any of those kills. Okay, 32 stacks. Uh, maybe? Uh, Sylvanas. Here. No, she's not here. You can use the rewind to get the you know, a second pufferfish off, just to get her into a combo, not necessarily V combo. That's etc. That's etc. Etc alone. I'm gonna grab him. We're gonna pufferfish him, and then we're gonna kill him with an explosion of fishes. Oh, that's what you get for trying. Well, you should try, but. Let's go get him. Let's go get this Rainer too. Zeratul, you're my pal. We are the best. We may be from different universes, but I get you. I understand you. I'm gonna grab this. We can split push. They're down 30 people. We can afford to delay grabbing the Dragonite because this is far more profitable. We'll get more mileage out of Dragonite with the entire team there anyway. This is going out very, going very well so far. 
Let's see, 15 minutes, 30 seconds in. Pretty level set with the enemy team. Yep, definitely a good, in a good spot. A little early for it. We could have pressured them more with just us, but... And it's not likely to matter. I hesitate to say that, because you never know what's going to matter. Uh, fish. Combo's not going to go off. <laughs> There's still a wall between us and them. What a weird call. I was going to Octa grab her just to let somebody else get her, but didn't seem all that necessary in the end. The okay, enemy team is starting to come up. 15 seconds. Well, we won't be able to do the double puffer, but should still work out. 8 seconds. If they don't engage yet, we should be fine. Odd call. Time to retreat. Okay. Well, we have a circle of puffer fish and we hit somebody with it, but that wasn't what we wanted to hit. Unfortunately, our egg is also in a very far position. That's gonna take us time to get back. One to one. That's okay. That's not as okay. Rainer needs to live. If Rainer dies, we're in a lot of trouble, so I'm gonna roll over here, help peel for them. Uh, yes. Yes. Forever yes. All of the yeses, Kalefas. Um, gonna go over here. Gonna barf this out. Okay, Rainer has seen us, which is not ideal. Sorry, sorry. I was busy laying my egg, just trying to get more aggressive. That's all. Could have used our bribe stacks in that, but that's okay. How long is that? 14 seconds? Oh, we can make that work. Hmm. Dogs are wigging out over something. No idea what it is. It's gonna get edited out anyway. Let's see. What do you want to do? Ah, uh, keep the lanes pushed. If we can keep the lanes pushed, we will be in a good spot. Fortunately, we maxed out our bribe stacks, which is not ideal. 17 minutes 20 into the game. <sighs> Let's see. If we can get the next team fight, we should be in a good spot. Our combo, our full combo is up. Should I? Yeah, I should. Kill is down. That was odd. I thought he was going after me. The sound was really nearby, but the symbol wasn't over my head, which is... Which makes me feel kind of silly, but I even thought it was going to be on me. Zerto is getting chased. Zerto is getting chased. You can maybe make something happen here. I'm, I'm hugging him now. He's my best friend now. Why? I guess it's better in the long run. We died. We exploded. But our egg is in a good place because we took our time to put it there. Hmm. Well, that Rainer is out of position, so we can make something happen here. Yes. All the yeses. Okay, we're not going to chase him, apparently. That's probably for the best. It's just good play. Shrine's up in 13 seconds, so we can get a kill here. I'll be so, so, so very good. I am murky. I am a target. Ah, Rainer should have backed. We're stunned? Oh, he's he's death metaling us. That's okay. I'm a murky. Doesn't matter to me. Not going to get a lot of value out of stunning me and just me. Not quite necessary to go after that yet. Hey, have a puffer fish. We can probably end the game. At least that's what I like to think. Right. Just focus this down, call it a day. Maybe we'll even get a bonus scale fast by the end. Um, yes, I want a bonus scale fast. Stay, please. Thank you. And we got it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this murky video, oh, the hunt is starting to go off, but it's never going to go off. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can subscribe to the Dark Fluffy Cloud channel so you don't miss a thing. I'm Padinator. I'll see you later.